Who's going to make your medical decisions in a time of crisis? 11 News reporter Janet Govan tells us why Utahns need to plan ahead and get what's called an advanced directive. In a state where emergency preparedness and planning is important, not enough people plan for the situations when they can't make their own medical choices. Instead of a time when you need healing and you need people and families to be together, they're torn apart because it's such an important decision and they're not sure what that person wants. Only about 8 to 12 percent of patients who come through these doors have an advanced directive, which hospital officials say is a big problem. Anyone who is 18 has a right to an advanced directive, but most don't take advantage of this privilege until much later in life. When asked why, young people usually reply with something like, I don't know, I always thought it was for my parents, not for me. Uh, I've never really thought about it before, probably because I don't think about death very often. I've never even heard of it. While many may think it's a huge legal process, today an advanced directive is as easy as the click of a mouse. All you need is a roommate or friend to witness it. You know, I think it is important for young adults to start thinking about an advanced directive and get those completed. In Provo, Janet Govan, 11 News. To start an advanced directive, click on Janet's story at 11news.byu.edu. Grab a friend and fill out the proper documents.